Every single time the PR arm of Britain's royal family, the UK tablet press, portray William as someone who needs his hand to be held by Harry, his pair, just so he can accomplish anything in life. They portray William in a very, very negative light. UK media portray William as someone who is incompetent. As someone who can do anything in life without having Harry there as a distraction. Without having Harry there to do the work. And then William swoops in and takes the credit of my family. And takes the credit for the work done by the spare. Every single time the UK tablet media protect William when William does something terribly wrong they write a story a negative story what's they make to cover and protect William my family they are doing no favors to Prince William in fact what they are doing is spoiling William is showing William that he can do anything he wants and he will get away with it because he is protected. UK media are spoiling Prince William. That's what they're doing. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling, I have this feeling after this drama surrounding Kate's disappearance that even Buckingham Palace, even King Charles has practically leaked how he believes William is a PR disaster because of his handling of Kate's disappearance, of how Kate hasn't been seen for months. Because of that, I feel UK media themselves are seeing that indeed they need Harry so, so desperately to be here so, so desperately to be here just so they can be able to somehow keep William, you know, you know, in check. Whereby William will come out and do engagements just to compete with Harry. Whereby William will be there, you know, will, be feel, will feel okay that Harry is there to be his scapegoat. I feel like UK media, they want that back. They're so desperate to have that back. You know? They're so desperate to have Harry back to be William Scapegoat. And no wonder they have resulted to even trying to get Harry deported. That's how desperate they are to get Harry back using any means necessary. They need Harry to come over to be William's scapegoat again. To be William's distraction again. Because clearly. William. On his own. My family. I think that. There are so so many scandals. And stories. That my family that clearly. Are about to be released. And Wikimedia. And the farm feel like the only way. They can stop that is by getting William's favorite scapegoat back, and that is Prince Harry. My family, that's what you know, UK media wants so so badly because they have seen with their own two eyes that clearly William is someone who my family is so so spoiled. That they really, really need someone else there as a scapegoat, as a distraction to cover and protect William whenever he messes up. I have always maintained that Prince William wanted to destroy Harry and Meghan's relationship for fear he was losing his scapegoat. He was so afraid of losing Harry, his scapegoat. My family, because the thing is, when you're someone 
who is growing up. And you've been told and taught that even if you mess up, we'll leak a story about Harry and then the media will focus on him and just ignore that bad story about you, William. When you have been brought up in that way, knowing Harry is there to be your scapegoat, you tend to believe that that is the reason why Harry was born. That that is Harry's role and that Harry should appreciate his role. As a scapegoat, of course. That's how William feels about Harry. That's how William feels about Prince Harry. And that's why he's so angry about Harry leaving. Not about Meghan leaving. He's angry about Harry leaving. Because the bullying and the abuse was mostly directed towards Meghan with the intention or aim of making her leave, not Harry. And that's why, to this day, UK media, my family, don't feel okay, don't feel alright, because Harry left with Meghan. And they take out their anger and frustrations for Harry choosing Meghan on Meghan because Harry dared pick her over following William around, over being William's scapegoat. And the tabloids and William just can't stand it. So my family, right now, with all this drama surrounding case disappearance and how it was handled, UK Media really feel there is a need for William to have his scapegoat back. And that's Prince Harry. And my family, I am hoping that they're never able to get Harry back. And I was seeing this interview between Charles Ray, someone who is a former carnival or so-called expert who worked for the Sun Tablet, my family, and now regularly, you know, speaks to Talk TV as, once again, a carnival or so-called expert, you know, on Talk TV, mostly. He's called there and paid to be there to went about Harry Meghan, he was having an interview with uh, Matt Wilkinson the family, who was a carnival of so-called expert who works for the Sun tabloid. And uh, they were talking about Prince Harry, about the future that they envisioned for Prince Harry. And my family, I want you to be able to please kindly hear this, my family. Please kindly hear this, please. Really, really close. And this is what makes it it's so sad that they're now so far apart. I mean, if William, well, it's not if, but when William becomes king, I always believe that Harry would be one of his top advisors. I think that's out of the window. Yeah. Right out of the window. It should be his wingman. It that, should that be. Was his, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his yeah. thing. And that's what Diana always wanted, the boys to remain as close as possible. They had each other. And it was them against the rest of the world. But of course now, you know, it's not going to happen. I think we've all read Harry's Memoir Spare. And by reading Harry's Memoir Spare, Harry clearly showed us that he and William were never ever close. In fact, when Harry was promoting Spare, my family, he said that he wanted to end this narrative, this lie that somehow it is Meghan who destroyed he and Prince William's relationship. Harry said he wanted the world to know the truth. That indeed he and William were never ever really close. And Prince Harry used an example of how when uh, he and William went to school together. William told Prince Harry, you know what? When you're here, you clearly do not know me. That's one example that Harry used. And there are more examples. Like, for instance, Prince Harry was never really the real best man for Prince William. He was just put there to protect the real best men who are William's best friends. 
who are the real best men at William and Kate's wedding. My family, that is what really happened. You know, I think everyone in the world, even me, myself, I thought, okay, William is Harry's best man. However, thanks to Spare, we now know that Harry was never really the real best man for William on William's wedding. It was William's best friends, my family, which Harry mentioned in Spare. That showed that Harry and William were never, ever really close, my family. The other example is how Harry, how he moved to Nottingham Cottage, my family. A small cottage, whereby when you enter, you have to tilt your head. Harry had hoped that when he moved there, he would be close to William, Kate, and George. And that he would be invited to their place to go play with George, you know, have fun together, just be close. Harry was wrong. He never ever got an invite to William and Kate's place. Unless William and Kate wanted to know something about Harry's life, that way they can leak it to the UK media to mess up Harry's life. Like how William and Kate Wilson really wanted to know who Harry was dating. And then Harry told them he is dating, is dating Megan from Suits. And then Harry told them that he was dating Megan from Suits. And they were all surprised. You know, because they were people who love the show Suits, my family. You know? So even when you hear a carnival of so-called experts saying, you know, no one knew Megan before Prince Harry. Tell them, your future king, she knew Megan. Tell them that your future king, Prince William, he knew Megan because he was watching Suits. Tell them Kate also knew Megan because she was watching Suits. Tell them that. <laughs> For sure, they'll be quiet when they hear that. You know? And I do love how Megan, you know, has been able to build an amazing career for herself before she met Prince Harry. I, I love that so much. I love that so much about, you know, Megan. And even that is one of the main reasons as to why this Megan campaign against Megan and Harry has been a complete and utter failure. Because, you know, Megan had a past before Prince Harry. In the past, you know, and no one accused her of anything bad. Nobody ever did that. In fact, we now know the Sun Tablet, owned by Madoc, they paid private investigators to try and dig up Captain Megan, but they found nothing on her. They paid an orphan money. To find some little Megan, and then they found nothing. When they found nothing, then my family, what did they do? They began offering people money to lie about Megan, like how they offered Simon Rex to lie that he had slept with Megan. Thankfully, he refused and told the world what had happened. So, if they're willing to offer someone $70,000 to lie about Megan, how much money has been offered to others to love of Megan? How much? How much? A fortune. A fortune. All in an attempt to destroy Megan's life. All in an attempt to destroy Megan's life using lies. By telling lies about her. And guess what? No wonder this mere campaign is a failure. Because the farm and the media have been trying so hard to destroy Megan using lies. You know? And that's one of the many, re many reasons as to why this makeup page is a failure. Because my family, all the lies that the firm have been telling about Megan have all been debunked. My family. And Megan has always been an honest, remarkable human being. And I'm so sorry because of what Megan has had to deal with all these years. You know? I'm so sorry about what Megan has had to deal with all these years. And I know that she can heal from the pain that has been caused to her by the toxic and racist UK media. 
Now my family, as I continue, really, so Harry and William were never ever close. However, you are seeing carnival of so-called experts always wanting to rewrite history and tell you something different. That, oh, Harry and William were close. They were not. They were not. They were not close. Harry told us for a fact, he and William have never really been close. And he even gave examples of even how, before I even forget the family, because it's a perfect example, Harry never even knew that William and Kate were going to get married. Harry never ever knew that William and Kate were going to get married. He never knew that. And that's before Harry even met Meghan. You know? William and Kate's wedding happened years before Harry and Meghan got married. And you would think that if Harry and William were so close as the carnival of so-called experts still want us all to believe that somehow they were still so, so close, my family, if that's the case, then how come Harry found out that William and Kate were getting married from a palace announcement and not from his brother, Prince William? How come? How come? Somebody please tell me how come? Somebody please tell me. Let me know how come. How come? My family. What you can be doing is lying to all of us to continue with the narrative. Some of Harry and William were so close until Meghan, you know, met Prince Harry. That is a blatant lie. And thanks to Spear, we have the truth. And actually, I feel like one of the reasons as to why it was so important for Harry to write, you know, basically to tell his own story, my family, is to prevent Wikimedia media from my family gaining control of the narrative. Because right now, in as much as they can lie on, on, on TV that Harry and William are close, we will pull up receipts and tell the world the truth. Like, if William and Harry were close, then how come Harry found out that William was getting married from a palace, my family announcement, that William and Kate were going to get married? How come? How come, my family? We can now be able to say that. Thanks to Harry's memoir spare, my family. When Charles Ray and uh, Matt Wilkinson are lying about, you know, Prince Harry, we can pull up receipts from Spare and deliver the truth. Megan is not the reason why William and Harry were never close. Jealousy that William has towards Prince Harry is the reason why Harry and William were never ever really close. Duke Media, their need to beat Harry against William and William against Harry to make so much money off of spreading division, my family. That is one other reason as to why William and Harry have never ever been close. Because instead of seeing each other as brothers, they have seen each other as competitors, my family, as competitors, people who compete against each other. My family. With William, his aim is to destroy Prince Harry. To prop himself up, my family. He believes he can never ever be able to stand on his own. You know? Unless Harry, unless he sees Harry on his knees. That's what Ukimedia also believe. And that's why even right now, even four years later after Harry fled the UK, still they're like, Harry should have been William's wingman. I mean, my family wasn't Harry supposed to get a life of his own. With the way they speak, it's like they never ever expected Harry to have a family of his own. You know? Or you can say they never expected for Prince Harry to marry a woman of color and have children with her. You know, I always believed that uh, the farm and UK media never really wanted Megan to bear hurricanes. 
And that's why when the announcement came out that Harry Meghan were expecting a child, some carnival of so-called experts like Sarah Vine, I remember them writing in their articles, my family, about how Meghan, you know, could suffer uh, my family miscarriage. I, I remember that. I remember that. When complaining about Megan curling a baby by my family. That's what, you know, Sarah Vine was writing. About complications that could happen during pregnancy. Now, why would Sarah Vine write that? Why would Sarah Vine write those things? She wrote that because Wikimedia never expected Megan to bear her children. I believe they wanted... To destroy Harry Meghan's, you know, relationship so, so quickly. To avoid, you know, Meghan bearing Harry children. And that's why some carnival of so-called experts were so pissed off. When it was announced that Harry and Meghan were expecting a child together. Have you also wondered why Meghan, whenever she's pregnant... She's abused, trolled, and bullied so much. My family, it's clear why it happens. Even Megan discussed that at the South by Southwest family you know, panel discussion in Austin, Texas. Where she spoke of, of how whenever she was pregnant, the abuse and trolling you know, was excessive. It increased. Why did it increase? It increased to put so much stress on Megan that Megan would suffer a miscarriage. And sadly, at one point she did. Before Harry Megan were pregnant, were pregnant with Lilibet in the family, before Harry Megan were pregnant with Lilibet, Harry Megan suffered the pain no parent should ever go through. They lost their unborn child. You know, a child that they wanted to have so, so much to give at your sibling. They lost their child. And Harry blamed the actions of Daily Mail of putting Megan through so much stress that Megan suffered a miscarriage in my family. As Megan said in the Harry and Megan documentary, she was not sleeping. When it came to a case against Daily Mail, my family. And Daily Mail were trying to expose Megan's friends. And Megan was staying up late at night to protect her friends. Find a way to keep her friends safe from the actions of the Daily Mail. They were trying to destroy more lives just to hurt Megan. Just to destroy Megan. And don't forget how Jason North, William's employee, how he was authorized by William to issue a statement against Megan in court. And don't forget that Harry Megan lost their child. Which Harry blames even on that case that put Megan through so much stress. So William is partly responsible for putting Megan through so much stress that Megan suffered a miscarriage in family. You know? My family, that's what happened. That is what happened. And the attacks... And trolling escalated when Megan was pregnant because the farm and Wikimedia never ever wanted Megan to bear her children. And when she did, as you've seen, trolls online are trying so hard to ensure that Archie and Lilibet don't have their birthright. That is, they want Archie and Liz Bathright to be taken away from them. How? By spreading conspiracy theories full of racism that are, my family, racist. Lying that Megan never ever gave birth to Archie and Lilibet. And that Megan was never ever pregnant. My family. To remove Archie and Lilibet. From the line of succession of my family. 
in the line of succession. That's what trolls want. Because the thing is, at the onset, they never ever wanted Megan to bear her kids. They never wanted that. And now that she has, they are trying to ensure that her kids, who are biracial, are stripped of their birthright. Even when Yuki Media and trolls online speak about stripping titles, they always say that they want Megan to be the one to lose her titles. They never really talk about Prince Harry. No, 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 they don't do that. It's mostly Megan. And now also it's Archie a little bit. My family. That's what the trolls want. My family. You know, and I hope that they never ever, you know, succeed in the evil plots against Harry, Megan, and Harry, and uh, Megan's kids. So my family, all these attempts by UK media to act as if Harry's entire role in life who just follow William around to be his, you know, wingman because William can't walk on his own. They're all putting William in a very negative light and they're exposing William for being incompetent. You know, as someone who can't do anything on his own without needing a scapegoat, without needing someone to be a distraction, you know, to be his spare because he can't stand on, on his own my family. And look at me, they want Harry there to cover for Prince William whenever William makes a mistake. That's what they want. And to make money over Prince Harry. While demanding that Harry Meghan make no money for themselves. That is hypocrisy of the highest order. My family. So my family, I really hope that Prince Harry never ever rejoin the road fold. I really hope it never ever happens. My family. Harry and Meghan are much better off. Far away from Prince William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, and the entire, you know, UK media, you know, industry. Their carnival of so-called sports. Harry and Meghan and their kids are way much better off. Far away from people who seek to destroy them. Harry and Meghan are much, much better off. And my family, I do pray for Harry and Meghan. And I wish them, you know, all the best. You know, peace happiness in their lives and that peace and happiness and joy can only be acquired if Harry and Meghan keep staying away from people who are hell-bent in destroying not just their lives but also the lives of their kids my family you know so my family UK media if they care about William so much like they do then Stop acting or portraying William as someone who's so incompetent that he needs a wingman. That he needs someone there who will do the work that way he can take my family the credit. UK Media never expected her to leave, but he did. And he chose, he chose Megan actually the bet. UK Media must learn to accept his choice and respect his choice. And if they cannot respect Harry's choice, then my family, they should keep quiet and focus on the taxpayer-funded royals that they have in Britain and leave Meghan, Harry, and their kids, Archie and Lilibet, alone. Now my family, I believe I have said enough. You tell me, Kylie, your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. God bless Harry. Megan, Archie, and also Lily Batana. And uh, may no perform against Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lily Bet ever prosper. Now stay tuned to our next video. Love was a forever. And may God bless you, my family. Harry has a family of his own. And in life, we all have a right to carve the path we want in life. The path that you give me the half of Prince Harry is one of misery. Whereby he's alone, not Megan, Archie Lilibet. Misery. Whereby they pick the wife, someone, the woman who's going to marry Prince Harry. That's what they want. And that is not right. That is not right. My family, that is not right. 
How is life is not a game? It's real life. Real heart, real pain. You know? And I would think UK Media would have gotten that message because Harry is suing them, but clearly they have not. They still want to play with Harry's life. Megan's life. Archie's life. Lilbeth's life. My family, they must stop doing what they're doing. This is real, is real life. And they must respect Prince Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lilibet's right to choose what they want to do with their life, what they want to accomplish. And Wikimedia must stop sabotaging Harry, Megan. They must stop doing what they're doing. Let Harry make a live in peace and work in peace. My family. If Wikimedia are genuine, and that they wanted Harry to heal the rift with uh, William, you know, and Charles and Kate and Camilla, my family. Then they would not be involved in any kind of peace talks between Harry, Meghan, and William, Charles, Kate and Camilla. They would not be involved. But we all know they want to be involved. We all know they want drama, stories. So they don't want a healing or meaning of any kind of of any kind of rich family. They just want to destroy people's lives. They want sabotage any kind of you know peace talks. That's what Wikimedia want to do. So my family, Wikimedia are a huge problem. And I do hope that one day people in Britain will demand reforms. Wikimedia must never ever be allowed to destroy lives like they have. Diana, Colin Flack, they must not be allowed to destroy people's lives like they like how they've done. They must not be allowed to do what they do. And I'm hoping that Prince Harry's cases, you know, against the Sun, Daily Mail, will bring about change in Britain and also media reforms in Britain, in Britain, which clearly are much my family needed. Which clearly are much, you know, needed my family. Now, I think I have said enough. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless you all, my family, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever, and may God bless each and every single one of you. And may not performed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bethan, Diana, and Dora, and my family. And all of you, members of at home, he never wins. Love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever, and may God bless you all, my family. You know, and May not performed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lily Bedana family Elko Spa. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family. From the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.